care of the hospital. We had a script. Uh, uh, we had a script that we were reading, basically, um, that um, uh, went through a lot of the history, really, of what's been happening and, and all the, the different politicians and different uh, folks that have uh, been behind the demise of St. Vincent's and, and the stall tactics um, that have caused us to have to escalate the fight to this point. Um, and then um, after a while, we uh, four of us were arrested and we were uh, brought down to Precinct 6. Uh, six, pre six Precinct, actually, those police officers, um, they knew exactly what we were there fighting for. You know, um, they're, the, they're the ones that if, if they have a gunshot wound or if they have a stabbing among their own um, uh, officers, this, that's the hospital that they would go to. And people don't realize that there's a massive difference between a level one trauma center and an emergency room and then there's also a huge, vast difference between an emergency room and what are called urgent care centers, which is really a misnomer. Um, and what a lot of our politicians are starting to talk about is putting in urgent care centers in place of what we had with St. Vincent's, which was a, a level one trauma center. I mean, level one trauma center means you have 15 to 20 specialists on call available when you need them. So if a police officer is shot, God forbid, they, they, in the sixth precinct, that's where they would go. Right. Now they can't go there. Now, now police officers, along with everybody else, are going to. Are, are, and, and people are. There are cases now where people have died. So we ended up um, going to the sixth precinct and then brought down here to Central Booking, and we spent the night in jail for the cause um, that we believe in. Uh, that you know, we're not going away. We're here until we have a hospital equivalent to services that St. Vincent's provided, and every politician is being held accountable. Um, and as much scrambling as they might want to do right now, it doesn't mean a thing. Until they're doing action to actually bring about a new hospital, they will be continue. They will continue to be held accountable for their shortcomings. And, and there needs to be like more.